Just imagine, there was an Audi engineering orgy and into the middle of it, gate crashes this hot Italian. <laughs> This is the 2014 Audi R8 V10 Plus Coupe Quattro S-Tronic. And I, for one, am very excited because I've got to say straight up, I am a fan of the R8. Right from the minute I first saw it in about 2006, I thought this is a car that I really need to have in my garage. So far, it's only made it to the Bell Virtual Garage, thanks to economics, but it does have its own special place. Now, for any of us that are fans of the car, of course, over the years, many variants on the theme, but the great continuing factor is that all the time the car keeps improving, just getting better and better. And so for a car that was already so good, what does the plus stand for? So this is what Audi say the plus stands for. Certainly, first up, from every possible angle, you see a proliferation of carbon fiber. Down here, very sexy little double front splitter here. And all the way down the sides, you can see obviously you've got it on the wing mirror here. You've got it on the side air intakes and at the back, proving there is a design god. Down here, you can see the carbon fiber continues with this spectacular rear diffuser. And while we're down here, ma'am, uh, you can see the integrated black tips here on those massive exhaust pipes. And certainly as far as the carbon fiber and the all aluminum chassis is concerned, the car is quite significantly lighter than its predecessor. Let's just take a look at this engine bay. For me, it is one of the most beautiful features on any car ever built. Enormously powerful and capable Audi V10 engine with 25 horsepower more, bringing it up to 550 horsepower. And on the interior, how do I best describe that? Edgy executive? Everything you've come to expect from Audi and a little bit more. Remember when the R8 first came out, I mean, it was revolutionary uh, for Audi. It incorporated everything they knew, and it came from that racing heritage they had. It was even named after a successful R8 racing car. And when they released it, of course, everyone appreciated, acknowledged its performance DNA and its capabilities. But for some, it was a supercar without the supercar soul. And I never really bought into that because for me, a car that allowed me to drive right on the edge of my capabilities without necessarily overextending the cars, that has to be a good match, especially for the normal driver. Not they dropped all that weight, 130 pounds at the curb. It's got a smaller fuel tank. It's got manual seats. Not that I'd let anyone else drive my car, so I don't know why I'd want electric anyway. It has that liberal use of carbon fiber. And couple that with that additional 25 horsepower, and you've got, I guess, what you'd call the automotive sum of the parts. As in, not one thing is massive, but put them all together, and it allows you to drive on the road like a Tom Christensen. Google it if you don't know who he is. In my opinion, the best guy ever to drive an Audi. And where you use a racetrack and mountain roads to test the handling, you need a tunnel to truly test the sound. being a luxury car. Certainly when it's an Audi, I think it can, because, you know, think of that S8 we had the other day, full, top of the line, luxurious performance qualities, but then, of course, you hit the cap of a, a top, full-size sedan. With the R8, there's no such limitations. So, coming up here to the start line, let me just turn off a few things. First up, 
off with the traction control and then I click this button here and turn it into sport. I think that's all we need. <laughs> Using the paddle shifters because they're rightly very proud of the new 7-speed S-Tronix gearbox. It quite literally is lightning speed above its predecessors. Oh, we hit the first corner here at Willow Springs bloody quickly. Immediately you can notice how well you can break down into the corners and yet keep the car on an even balance. And now as I head into this medium-fast left-hander, the R8 does its characteristic initial understeer push, and then it transitions right there to a neutral mid-corner, and then coming off to the exit, you get exit oversteer. As long as you understand that's what the R8 Plus is going to do, you can compensate accordingly. Now, do you remember back when we drove the SLS, I said the only thing missing was if it had the carbon ceramic brake package? Well, today on the R8 Plus, we do. And they really are the icing on this rather lovely cake. What makes them better? Well, I can only really go off my racing experience. And that is that in a track environment, I really appreciate them for the way they make your braking style extremely efficient. They love you hitting them really hard for a shorter period of time. It's what makes them so efficient. It's almost like the ultimate braking force for just a moment in time. And as you can see, it's just this demonstration of explosive energy absorption and then dissipation. And of course, here with the R8 on track, they're just completely in their element. You know, with 550 horsepower, the R8 Plus certainly doesn't have any lack of oomph from out the back there. Which does bring up an interesting point when you think it's all put to the ground via the Quattro drive. Do you have to pilot, do you have to drive an Audi differently because of the Quattro system, on track especially, to get the most out of it? Well, in many ways, yes, you do. Um, but because of the R8's got such interesting torque bias, it's 85% of the Quattro drive does go to the rear. That means you, in reality, have what feels like the best of both worlds and in practice it does give it the feeling that it's like the world's best rear wheel drive car. So on approach to the corner you have to manipulate the R8 to the apex with it's kind of a combination of smooth hands and less aggressive inputs to kind of minimize that understeer, the push. Then as you roll into the apex just be patient, wait a second, let the weight settle and then give it welly on the way out. It's just absolutely brilliant. It just has this perfect all-wheel drift all the way out to the exit. You definitely dance though, right on the threshold of grip. Whoa! I think I've worked out what the R8 Plus part means. Additional, enhanced, boosted, increased, supplementary and surplus. Exactly. Check back each week for more on your eBay Motors mobile app.